going to do a quick review of an Airbnb that my wife and I are staying at, have stayed at, and we've got a few more days in here in Manaus, Brazil. We've been at many Airbnbs, and um, this is one of the nicer ones, and all of them have been very nice, but uh, there's a lot of things you look for when you're coming to an Airbnb, mainly security of the neighborhood, entrances. This one has a private entrance. You'll get a key from the host. Uh, so this little gate and stairway accommodates the people that are in the three Airbnbs up here at the top. And the owner host lives below. Beautiful home, very well kept. And the neighborhood is really good. We've walked around it. I mean, we can't testify to total safety, but everybody around here says it's a safe neighborhood. We are in the Alvarada Barrio. It's not quite central, about 20 minutes from Central or Ponte Negra, uh, 10, 15 minutes from Park 10, which is another popular area. In this area we've walked around, there's lots of little markets, fruit stands. We haven't explored it all yet because last night was our first day here. Um, but it's uh, everything's very accommodating. It's a nice little grocery store, family-owned grocery store around the corner, maybe a block and a half that you can get just about everything you need. Um, families are here. It's a family neighborhood. <laughs> like Brazil, there's a lot of activity and noise going on. But anyway, I want to give you a quick overview of the two units that we've stayed in. When we first came here, the unit that we wanted uh, got overbooked by Booking.com, so we ended up getting put into this unit, which we really liked. And uh, it's been remodeled, about three years old, from what I understand. It's got a, a nice big windows, like most in Brazil, you don't have air conditioning in the living room. Some do, but most don't. Uh, so you'll have open windows, and then in the evening you can use a fan. It gets cool in the evening here, this time of the year. Um, this particular unit is really super clean. And just about every, every Airbnb we've come into have been fairly clean. Some a little less than you might expect, but this one is exceptional and very comfortable, small. Nice ceramic tile floor with a wood grain look. This is a veranda, I was just showing you out here. So this unit has all these windows along this wall and this is a common use veranda. Last night there was nobody out there, it was raining. But you can see people hang their laundry out there. So there's, you can hang your own laundry out there if you want. Lots of covered space, little stove, microwave, all of the utensils and pots you'd need, things to make coffee, let's see here coffee maker, there's carafe for drip coffee if you make it or just to keep it warm. The refrigerator is really nice. It's empty right now. Keeps everything cold. It's got a freezer on top. Bedroom, and this one is a little smaller than the one I'm going to show you that we're moving into, but it's still nice. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. The air conditioner is an older window style, <clears throat> which you'll find very common in these uh, Brazilian homes. It's economical. This one worked great last night. It's in the 80s right now. And I would say that it's adequate. Uh, some of the newer Airbnbs or the ones that have been remodeled will have a, a split unit in it that are much more efficient. But you got a little wardrobe here. Plenty of room for the average couple's clothing. Bathroom is accommodating, small. Shower with a heater. And we're just moving out, so excuse the mess, but we've cleaned it up the best we can here. And uh, now I'm going to take you over to the one that we're moving into, which is just next door. Oh, by the way, you've got a really nice television. This one has a small sofa. Not so bad. Uh, pretty comfortable. But on this, you'll have all of the cable, Netflix, Prime, YouTube, all of those things. It's a smart TV, so you can, you know, sign up with your own accounts or, or stream off your phone or whatever you want to do. So... Let's take a look at the other one over here. And then I'm gonna give you some information on, these actually cost the same. Now this, this is an electric fence. <laughs> We've been told by the owner that at 10 o'clock it's energized, so don't touch it. There's some more units down here. I, don't, I haven't been in them, but this is the one we're moving into. So the configuration is pretty close. It's a bigger unit, it's wider. And um, the sofa's bigger, this is a height of bed. Keep that in mind if you are thinking about renting this unit because you could probably put three people in here or four people pretty comfortably. Kitchen's quite a bit bigger. 
Um, refrigerator is smaller. Be a nice place for an island here. We don't see that too often in Brazil. This one has a bathroom that's separate from the bedroom. And now this unit's one year old, so it's a lot more modern. Um, bathroom's nice, it's bigger. So roomier bathroom. Sink, of course. This is a stove, four burner stove with a small oven. Pantry, microwave if you use that. Bedroom is very large. Remember the other bedroom had the bed against the wall. This is a queen size bed window. Now this one's got the split unit and we've just had the air on for maybe 10 minutes. The whole unit is really cool. Wardrobe again, so pretty self-explanatory. This Airbnb is currently, now the prices could change seasonally or year to year, so this is what we're paying right now. We're paying 130 a night, that's in real. This is the contact information right here. You can go through Airbnb or booking.com. Um, this is the owner of the property, Almira. And this is her daughter, Marisa, who really, I don't know who that is, maybe her husband. Uh, she's the one that really manages everything here, but she got all the information about the unit, what you can and cannot do. You can't have parties here. You can't do a lot of things that would be very obvious. Can't smoke, so there's no smoking, no pets. I don't know about pets. There's no odor of pets, but I didn't see whether or not that was acceptable. However, you know, there, there are no odors in this property, either, either one. Very clean, so you know these people are taking very good care of this Airbnb. Uh, they've been in the business for three years, according to the mother, and they've got two more units being remodeled right now. So, big business here in Manaus, or actually everywhere in the world, probably, but Manaus and other cities that we've been to in Brazil, Airbnb is very, very popular and affordable. So, we found an Airbnb in Manaus as cheap as 68 real, real a night, a day. And it's just as nice as this. But the lady just got into business and she just didn't know how to price it. So we stayed there for a week. And then after we left, it was 100 real, which is still a great deal. Like 20, 20 US dollars a night. <laughs> so can't beat it. So this is our little place for the next eight days. And then we're going to go into another Airbnb. But I wanted to give you a little up, update on this particular airbnb and i'll put a link below in the description for uh through airbnb of this actual property so if you're in manaus if you want to go to ponte ponte negra beach or you want to go into the markets downtown or the uh the amazonian amphitheater or not amphitheater theater this is a pretty good location it's pretty centralized in terms of going around the easy access on the streets um, neighborhood is quiet. Now, today's the 2nd of January, so there were fireworks still going off from New Year's last night, but we haven't heard any today. Nice neighborhood. You know, if you're familiar with Brazil, you'll know pretty much all the neighborhoods upscale, if you want to call it that, neighborhoods look like this. I don't know if that's Airbnb there. I know they had a big party yesterday. Lots of fun going on over there. And uh, this is what we got. So I'll put the link below if you are interested in an Airbnb in this area, this is one that I highly recommend. Highly recommend and the host is awesome, really good. So you'll enjoy it if you come here. Hope you enjoyed this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, make comments, we'll answer your comments and we're on a big journey. So if you wanna buy us a cup of coffee, there's a link below for that as well. Have a good day and enjoy your own travels. Happy New Year, by the way. 2024.